Hey folks, Mel the Train Shooter back in the studio and back with some swampy terrain bases. Yes, following on to yesterday's video, yeah, thank you for the warm welcome back. Yeah, we're getting right back into it with the swampier ideas. Now, the idea is I want to put some bases on these pieces here, yeah. Basically, I've got this uh, Altar of Chaos from Pegasus Hobbies. I've got some a couple of GW Watchlet buildings. Uh, that I've been knocking about and I want to use them so tie them into the swamp base theme that we've been doing But I want to do something a little bit different to give them that sunken feeling now the basic idea is yeah that you know I've got block I've got base 3 mil MDF Yeah, and you know, we're gonna fix it down put some put some swampy stuff around it But what I want to do is actually cut this off yeah, and have it sloped, which is why I've got more of a sort of an angle on that side. You see, the idea is, if I just reach over it, is obviously this is a swamp. Now I keep saying swamps, but we've not seen much swampiness. Yeah, and this is a test tile for the swamp. Yeah, so eventually I'm going to be pouring resin in there once I've figured out the colours and that sort of stuff. But this texture and this effect, I can pull off on here, yeah? So my idea is that we're gonna have these sort of like leaning towers. The leaning tower of Papa Nurgle. <laughs> I like that one. Okay, this has now become the leaning tower of Papa Nurgle. So say us all. So what we can do is we can sort of put that on there and then I can do this sort of swampy effect around here, put some resin effects in there, and it'll give it the look of it sinking into the swamp. Pretty smart, eh? Well, you know, I do have my moments. Right, now, so moving on to this one. Yeah, obviously we've got the block. It's just a four by four. It was the bottom of this piece, yeah? And I just decided this was too tall, separated it off, yeah? now. I did go scavenging at home and I managed to find some gribblies. I managed to find myself some of these. So whilst it is a block, we can hang some lights off it and put some, what you call it? Uh, what are they called? I should know that. Buttresses. You can put some buttresses up against it. See, get in there. Yeah, and we can do the swamp effect thing. But with this one, I've also thought about incorporating a tree, yeah, to start mixing the elements between the two. I don't really want to sort of like drag all my trees into all these bases because we've still got to do the expanding rocks and the swamp bases. Yeah, so a lot to figure out yet. Yeah? So I want to sort of drag them across, maybe make some more. We'll see. Yeah, but right now. I think it's quite, I don't want just a duplicate of that. I want something different. And finally, yeah, we've got the Altar of Chaos. Yeah, which I've just drawn out, done a circular one, and I'm just gonna cut that out. Now, what I'm not sure about is whether I should put like a little bit of balsa wood under there and sort of have it at an angle, like it's sunken. Still got to figure that one out. Right, my next job is I need to cut these bases out. Yeah, get them all shaped up and everything. And we'll come back when it comes back to the mountain time. Also, yeah, got to sand these down as well. So, time to get busy. Right, bases are done. Yeah, and let me show you. Right, here we go. Right, with the altar of chaos. Yeah, uh, pop and urkel. I'm not sure whether I'm going to call it Papa Nurgle or whether it deserves to be bone mass because I, this is inspired by Valheim. Yeah, and if you don't know what that is, it's like Viking Minecraft. I quite like it. Right, so, got the Auto Chaos. All I've done is a simple round base, beveled it off. What I've done is, is I put dots of PVA under here, but I fixed it to the base with a little bit of hot glue just in some key places that I know I'm going to be going over and putting like texture effects over. Yeah, what this means is basically I can crack on with it now, which is the same technique as we're going to do with these. Now, if I bring these across, yeah, you can see where I've got my sort of slopey slope, my slopey slope as I'm calling it. 
and clearly this is definitely the leaning tower of pop up and Nurgle. definitely right the job with these is we're going to fix them now because obviously they're not flat like this so i can't just put a bit of pva on yeah i've got to sort of secure the edges and also i had a bit a few problems with this when i was on the belt sander yeah these panels ripped away and so i've had to refix them in put some hot glue in but there's a bit of a step there. Maybe I can clip it a bit. There we go. Okay. This just reeks as being a bad idea. And yeah, here I am doing it. And for, and for a pound. All right, that's a bit better. I'm tempted to put it back on the belt sander, but no. If I do, it's just going to go, it'll go wrong. Right, so there we have it. That's where this one's going. Okay. And so what we need to do is fix it. Now to fix it, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to pin it with hot glue. Yeah, which means all the sort of like positions that are flat that I know I'm going to be covering over in a little while with texture effects, etc. Yeah, I'm just going to put a bit of hot glue just to pin it. Oh, don't pin it like that, not like that. Yeah. Now hot glue, it'll bridge a little bit of a gap, but you know, it's not gonna bridge a massive gap. You can build it up over time, let it cool, come in, apply another sort of layer. And as long as you, you don't sort of stick the nozzle in and remount all of it, you can get away with that. So I need to hold that there. I've just got to hold this now while it sets as best as it can. Now, uh, very quickly bring that round there, hold that there. I'll do this side as well. Come on. Now with the empty side, what we're going to do is we're going to pack it almost used an entire stick on because right. I want it well stuck right there we go so there we have our sloped effect now I've still got to put those uh, we're not going to get the balustrades on there so we might as well put them somewhere else we'll have to figure it I'll figure it yeah Next job is we were going to put the tree on. Now our idea is the tree is going to go there. So a little bit of hot glue here. Just push that on. At the end of the day, this is going to have like a, a swamp texture over it. So it's going to help absolutely everything to bind to it anyway. Yeah, so I'm not overly concerned about putting PVA down. I just want these to stick good enough to hold while we do the rest of the work. So, yeah, you can see how I've pinned it around this side. Yeah, and we've got the doors and we've got this large gap here and we're going to have to do something about. And when it comes to the gap, like I say, we're going to pack it with some five mil. But before we do that, I'm just going to very quickly do this one over here. Yeah, and then once we've got that one done, we'll come back and level it up. So the Leaning Tower of Popper Nurgle's all glued up, but also I've started the packing. Yeah, basically I do it off camera, watch clip. I gave it a go, just wedging some bits in, yeah, to fill the gaps. And it's worked quite well. So what I'm going to do is sort of take you through what I learned by doing it on this one. So obviously we've got a large void there that we need to fill. I'm using 5mm foam. Now the benefit of 5mm foam is obviously it can be stuck down with PVA. Yeah, it can be shaped, but it can also be compressed, which means if you get a piece like this, what you can do is squeeze one end of it. Yeah, and make it sort of a wedge shape, which is perfect for jobs like these. So. In the spirit of that, yeah, we've got my wedge shape. 
I'm going to throw some PVA on it. A little on the top as well. Yeah, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. I'm basically going to wedge it in. Yeah. Fill that gap. So we're moving on to this one. We've got this one here. So that's quite thicker than the watch cloak one layer. So what we're going to do is first apply glue to both sides. Okay. Next. We slide it in and I'm leaving a reasonable amount recessed. Okay, next we want to get a little bit of foam, press it down a bit. Yeah, got a little bit of PV on the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring that in. And we're going to try and wedge it in there. And once we've got it wedged in like that, what we can do is we can get a blade. And you can wait until it's actually dry to do this. But you know me. Might have. Why let something dry and do it neatly when you can just have a go? It's a hobby. It's supposed to be like this. Stop taking it so seriously. I'm going to get so much trouble for that comment. <laughs> but it is a hobby, remember? So don't worry about having a mess and having a bit of fun. Uh, see, just like that. I've watched it. But I've repaired it. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. A bit like your PayPal's. Put a smile on my face. Oh, right. And we'll put that one in there, I think. I need to clean my blade off as well. Oh, there is something I do need to mention. Yeah, talking about channel stuff. Patrons on the clan. Yeah, I'm planning on filming the clan chat tomorrow. Yeah, it's been a while, but I want to do another one. It's because it's been a while. So if you've been working on something, jump on the Patreon page, go to the members uh, members post tab in the header, yeah, and post your pics of what you've been working on there. Show me, I want something, obviously, yeah, I've got, I've got to have something to chat about. So if you guys can jump on there and do that for me as a solid tonight, then when I get in the studio tomorrow, not only will we be doing more bases and that sort of stuff, but I'll have that, I can film that. So, over to you guys. Now, in other words, there, that's all done. Yeah, so that's done. Next thing we need to do is, and I'm reluctant to sort of do it right now. Why is that not? That's right. I could really do with this PVA drying before I carry on. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the PVA dry. Should I? Shouldn't I? Yeah, I want that PVA to dry. If I put anything over it now, watch it. There's a good chance it'll still stay wet. Right, in which case, crack on with these tomorrow. So, I'll be back tomorrow with these. Yeah, they'll be dry. We'll be doing some other things. I've also got to move on to the expanding foam bases. So that's going to be coming up as well. Uh, and in the meantime, folks, remember if you're on the part of the clan, jump onto Patreon. Yeah, and if you've liked seeing me about, links are down below. Right, cracking on time. All the best, yeah? Ta-da.